Hey everybody, how's it going? We're out here in the Time Cave in the Gem of the Foothills. This here is of course a very common lantern. This is a Dietz Hilo. It's a hot blast variety. And for those who have been following me and those subscribers that I have, you know what this is. This is not a surprise. This is nothing that is extraordinarily rare. Um, it is just a Dietz Hilo. Now the Hilo was definitely of course a very dependable lantern and it was very affordable because it had no lift uh, mechanism like a side lift like on a Monarch or, or a Victor. Um, so this was definitely a more economy style lantern for uh, u wide uses. It was a general purpose lantern. A lot of people use them on job sites, uh, hanging on barricades and you know you think of it you pretty much get the idea. It was not technically a railroad lantern although some people are trying to tout them as railroad lanterns maybe to squeeze a few more bucks out of their cell um, or attract other, uh, you know, searchers uh, and get, you know, more exposure to their listings on eBay, but they are not railroad lanterns. I know that they have been used in some railroad applications because of smaller railroads uh, in rural areas and they have a hardware store and they can get these easily. Um, so, yes, to say that they are a railroad lantern is incorrect, but yes, there have been some that were used on railroads because of availability. But um, yeah, so there you go. But yeah, the Dietz Hilo is definitely a good old lantern. Hard to beat, very common, but very functional. And I just love the lift mechanism. You just do that and you have the wick exposed ready to light. And it's a quick draw lighting lantern and very easy to light. And you can, you know, surface them very quickly and easily. Um, hard to beat a, a Hilo in my opinion. It's just a handsomely styled, basic, hot blast lantern that sadly was discontinued in 1947. Um, it never received streamlining like the Monarch did, which in my opinion is fine. I, I actually like this better. Uh, some like the streamlined models. I don't mind them. I don't hate them. I just, I prefer these better to my, to my taste. Anyhow, um, so what I'm going to do, just hose it down with some WD-40, uh, give it a little bit of a scrub down with a Brillo pad, uh, just take some of the dust and uh, light surface rust off and then uh, wipe it all down and clean the globe, uh, trim the wick and fill it and we'll be ready to go. I probably will go over it with some Mother's Polish just to make it look a little more preserved. You know, kind of like how the crystal back there looks. It has a slight sheen to it, uh, sealing the patina in so it uh, keeps it from rusting further. So, yeah, general stuff. No big deal. But, yeah, it'll, it'll be fun. So right now, since, um, you know, we have more extra time, uh, I've, I've been turning my focus on new lanterns I've already had for many years. I've had this one since probably 2005 or six, give or take. And um, yeah, so it, it needs some attention. It just hangs here in the garage, out of the elements, safe, but it still could use a little bit of a boost. And I've been doing a lot of this same type of work on the other lanterns that I've been accumulating since then and this one should not be overlooked. So, anyhow, uh, I will probably be doing another video uh, of the aftermath after this is done, but I also do have a Dietz Streamline that I've had since I was 11 years old, and uh, there are some rusty parts on it that I should um, address, because last time I cleaned that lantern was in 1989. It's, it's time, <laughs> so it's had some time to re-rust the uh, the burner cone and the globe plate and all that stuff so it, it, it'll get some attention uh, in this weekend or the week to come so anyways friends I a grateful thank you to those who subscribe and that follow me and enjoy my videos I appreciate your positive content uh, comments uh, on my content and um, thank you tell a friend if you like what you see let's let's get more going um, I enjoy uh, seeing your co seeing your comments and your interest in my channel and it's it's very special. I appreciate it. So with that, I bid you farewell for now, and we'll see you again and uh, not too soon. All right, bye bye.